Today, I'm gonna be talking about a couple ways that you can boost your creativity. Good morning, good evening, good night, whatever time of day you're watching this. I hope you're having a fantastic one. If you're new to my channel, my name is Colin Mason Wayne Whitfield and I make videos about filmmaking, photography, and DaVinci Resolve. If that's something you find interesting, feel free to leave a like and also subscribe. I make new videos every Thursday. And also, if you're watching this on mobile or on your tablet, feel free to hit that bell icon so that you'll be notified whenever I release a new video. But with that being said, let's talk about today's topic. So whenever I try to come up with ideas for videos or photos, even writing this script for this video took me a while because I couldn't really think and I was just like, my mind was all over the place. And also, writer's block is a thing, so yeah. And so I went and did some research on how I could boost my creativity and I'm gonna share the results that I found with you guys. So when doing research on how to boost your creativity, I found a article on Business Insider. They did an interview with Moran Scherf. I think that's how you pronounce it. I'm hoping I'm pronouncing that correctly. Anyway, in this article, they did an interview with Morgan Scherf, who is a neuroscientist, and he also happens to be a professor at Northwestern University. Morgan Scherf talks about a 30 second exercise that you can use to boost your creativity. This exercise is called Constraints Generation, and I'm gonna have you guys do it right now. So what I want you to do is come up with ideas for YouTube, and I'll give you 30 seconds to do it. All right, let's do the same exact thing, except let's think of ideas only involving cameras. Which one was easier to come up with ideas? Probably the second one, right? The reason why the second one was easier was because you had to think of ideas ideas only based around cameras and the first one was about literally any idea that you could come up with. So if you're stuck trying to come up with ideas, do this exercise and hopefully it will help you out. Another way to boost your creativity, believe it or not, is to take a nap. I already do this and I can tell you that it helps a lot. And also, I just like taking naps. However, it might be different for you. Warren Scherf says, if you have trouble coming up with ideas, you should take a nap. The reason why you should sleep is because we think more creatively when we're in REM during sleep. REM stands for rapid eye movement. During this period of sleep, our brains accept new ways of thinking. When we're dreaming, we just accept whatever is happening and don't question it at all. And we can overcome those creative blocks. However, in order to activate REM sleep, you have to be asleep for an hour and 30 minutes. So next time you're having trouble coming up with ideas, take a nap, it might help you. You can also boost your creativity by looking at wide distances. According to Stephen Kotler, who is a journalist and a New York Times best-selling author, you can boost your creativity by looking at wide distances. Kotler says when you're looking at wide distances, you're using your parasympathetic nervous system. The parasympathetic nervous system helps your body stay relaxed. That's why whenever you look at a beautiful empty sky, you feel at ease and relaxed. By looking at wide empty spaces, we are able to clear our minds and hopefully come up with more creative ideas. This makes sense because I remember in high school, I would look out the window and I would have these cool ideas for videos and instead of actually learning what the class was about, but that does make sense now. And my last tip for you guys is to just take a break. Just take a break from trying to come up with ideas. Maybe even by taking a break, you can come up with ideas as well. Just do whatever makes you happy or makes you feel relaxed. Because as we learned, being relaxed helps us come up with creative ideas. That's all for today's video. Thank you for watching. If you haven't already, feel free to leave a like. Also, feel free to subscribe. And if you're watching this on mobile, feel free to hit that bell icon so you'll be notified whenever I release a new video. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, TikTok. Links will be in the notes below. And until next time, eat, sleep, and dream films, and I'll see you guys in the next video. So next time you have trouble coming up with ideas, maybe take a nap and see if, you know, something happens in there. That was f dumb.